Hello, YouTubers. This is uh, take two on my Aurora Borealis Northern Lights report from last night. <laughs> and uh, funny story, the first one I did was missing the audio. So I thought that is kind of an important part. So I'm doing it again. Anyway, last night, all day yesterday, I was excited, looking forward to seeing the Aurora in the sky because of the... Uh, geomagnetic storm that's very strong and um so we waited until it got dark and we checked a couple times and there was still some light in the sky which looked like it could have been dusk but it was kind of more to the north so i was in communication with my friend molly who lives outside of carpenton and um and my brother jim and his wife bath and so we were all you know knew about it and we were waiting to see it and so um at some point i went out probably in around 10 and we could see it in the driveway it was you know like above the trees it was like a glow but it really wasn't super colorful or didn't really look what i was hoping it would look like so then we came back in and it was probably like 50 degrees last night it was a little cool so i went out again around 11 and because of, there's not a, much of a view to the north from where we live because there's a lot of trees i walked up the road a little bit to where there's an open farmer's field and there's nothing in it and i got a clear view of the sky i could really see the aurora i could see the colors it was a faint red pink purple color and it was t taking up large amounts of the sky and then there were a couple of bands that were like going up you know like vertically and so i watched it and then jason joined me and i tried to take some pictures of it but the light was so faint i really couldn't get anything good on there so uh, there was also a setting crescent moon that was setting and that was nice too and it didn't it wasn't bright enough to provide any interference to see the the northern lights so i watched it for a while and i enjoyed it and i was kind of excited to see it but i was kind of secretly hoping it would be a little bit more vivid looking and uh, so then we came back to the house i came out again around midnight and looked and it was pretty much the same and i was thinking thinking that i might stay up and keep checking but instead we kind of just went to sleep went to bed and so that is the story that's that's what we saw that's what there was that's what happened the Aurora Borealis was visible here, the Northern Lights, which is a rare sight here, but it was a lot less than I hoped it might be. But I, I'm sure lots of people across the country and North America have got to get a good view of it. So that's the story. And uh, let me know if you watched it or tried to watch it or just didn't care. Anyway, that's my story, and thanks for watching.